My name is Dr Deborah Bateson. I'm the Medical Director at Family Planning New South Wales. I've worked as a clinician, researcher and educator in the field of reproductive and sexual health for over 20 years. I'm here to share some information about the importance of offering cervical screening during the antenatal period. We know that cervical screening prevents cancers by detecting human papillomavirus, or HPV, which is the cause of most cervical cancers. Health professionals such as GPs, nurses and midwives play a crucial role in educating patients about cervical screening and performing cervical screening tests. It's safe to offer cervical screening at any time during pregnancy. If a pregnant patient is due or overdue for screening, antenatal appointments can be a convenient time for a cervical screening test. The clinical guidelines recommend use of a cytobroom, which is very soft, to collect the sample. An endocervical brush, also known as a cytobrush or combi brush, should not be inserted into the cervical canal during pregnancy because of the risk of associated bleeding, which may distress some women. It may also be helpful to do the test before the baby is born, as many parents with a newborn find it challenging to make time for their own health. Self-collection of a lower vaginal sample is an option for all pregnant women. Health professionals can offer patients a choice of a clinician-collected or a self-collected sample. Pregnant patients should be counselled about the small risk of bleeding associated with self-collection. Both types of samples have been found to be equally accurate for detecting HPV. If a patient is due or overdue for screening, offer a cervical screening test during the antenatal appointment. Waiting until after pregnancy may result in a further 12-month delay. Health professionals know cervical screening saves lives, and pregnancy is a safe and opportune time for women to have a cervical screening test. It's so important to encourage patients to participate in cervical screening.